Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back from another LEGO Ninjago video, and recently I made a purchase from an eBay seller who was selling 50 LEGO Ninjago minifigures as one big lot. I paid, well, a pretty hefty price, but I think it was definitely fair considering the rarity of some of these figures in this bag. And as we open up this box here, you can see that this is a very, very large bag of minifigures. And the seller said that there are only just a few duplicates in there, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited to open up this baggie, show you guys what we got, and explore a little bit just because from the pictures, I couldn't see all the minifigures I was getting, but I think it's a pretty good lot. So let's go ahead and check them out. So here's this huge bag of Ninjago minifigures that we have in front of us. And right off the bat, what I notice is that these minifigures are from a lot of different seasons of Ninjago. There's some Ninjago movie, but there also is like this original Kai, you guys can see down here. And right next to him is the Golden Dragon Master from Hunted. And so, you know, that's a very large time jump between them, so I'm very excited. Then we might have some very old Ninjago minifigures in here. I mean, here's even like Fang Sui, one of the Serpentine members. So, this should be really cool to open. There seems to be a ton in here. And so, I guess the best way to approach this is maybe to dump them out a bit and we can, you know, dig through the bag, see what we can find here, see if we can get like maybe like some of the Energy Ninja or some of the Air Jitsu Ninja or something really cool. Wait a sec. Hey, look at this. Huh, I had no idea this guy was coming. Like I said, you didn't really get to see all the minifigures that were going to end up coming in this bag. But here we have Scales, which is the Hypnobride General for the Serpentine Season of Ninjago. I mean, this guy is absolutely awesome. I always love getting these generals here with the tails. This is a great start. Here we have a Jungle Garmadon minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie. I'm curious to see how many Ninjago movie minifigures there'll be in here. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hopefully not that many because I basically have all of them already. But anyways, let's move on here. This is an interesting figure. How about we check out this guy right here. This is Cruncha. The original Cruncha, I should say, back from 2011 of Ninjago. This is an awesome figure. Basically one of the original Skullkin figures that we got for Ninjago. This is a cool pickup. Down here we have actually, hey look at that, we got one of the Elemental Blades with him. This is the Kimono Cold minifigure I believe he's called. He's from the final battle season of Ninjago. I really like these suits. These are one of my favorite ninja robes that the ninja have had. I think they look really cool. Especially some of the other ninja that have some vibrant colors right there. Looks like here we have one of the original Cole minifigures. So there definitely is a lot of minifigures from those first couple seasons of Ninjago, which is really cool. And I guess that's probably when this guy was collecting most of the Ninjago sets. And that just makes this video even more entertaining since we're looking at some minifigures that we don't see very often these days. Over here we have a Sensei Wu figure with the uh, snake kimono or snake robe on here. This came in quite a few different sets back in the day, but still a very cool figure. One of the first Sensei Wu figures, I believe, to have the golden rice field hat up here instead of the light tan one. Here we have Angler from the Lego Ninjago movie. This is one of my favorite baddies. This top part here that goes over the minifigure head I think looks absolutely phenomenal. I love this piece right here and it's cool that it's not just the one that came in the collectible minifigure series. In fact, he told me that there aren't any Lego movie collectible minifigures in here, which is really good because those aren't worth that much money to this day and uh, I would not have gotten my money's worth with this. Now this is a really, really I guess wanted figure if you don't have her. This is the original Nia minifigure at the time from back from around 2011. This is really cool. You guys can see her robe here with the sort of flame or Nia's fire logo here. That's really cool. She has a double sided face I believe. Yes she does and no back printing though. It appears that here we have the Kai DX figure, and whenever I was talking about the kimono robes just a little bit ago about how they're one of my favorite ninja robes, well, they're only really surpassed by the DX robes. I think these look absolutely phenomenal here with the dragon with the flames coming out. This is really, really cool. Some of these heads aren't necessarily going to be straight. They, are, they do come from collection. I'm not sure how old the uh, dude was, but, you know, 
he was basically selling off his collection of Ninjago figures. And, you know, I whenever I do this or whenever I buy things online, especially from LEGO collectors, I always try and give them a fair deal. It's not like I go in there with a super low ball offer. And for these minifigures, the dude definitely got a pretty good deal, as do did I, I believe. Uh, just with what we're seeing here is pretty cool. We have Mesmo from the Hypnobri tribe, so we have Scales also, and now we have Mesmo, so we got two of the Hypnobri tribe members. This guy's pretty cool. He looks a lot like the Spitta minifigure, which you can see here. They're basically like long lost cousins or something from different tribes. They use the same headpiece here. Here's a Stone Warrior Scout figure, so from the final battle season. These rice field hats here in the red are always really cool to get. And what I've really noticed about these figures that I'm really happy about actually is that they don't have a bunch of dust on them. Like I know whenever I'm displaying some of my Lego sets, like there gets to be dust all over the minifigures. I gotta like brush it off, you know? But I mean, anyways, here's Cole ZX. No, not really any dust. That's that's really, really cool. All right, well, here, we have them right here. Uh, we got the uh, Dragon Master, Golden Dragon Master, I should say. Uh, we have Wu, pretty much, and uh, he does have his shurikens, actually, which is a cool little touch. This is from the Dragon Master set, of course. You guys definitely know about that one. Uh, here we have, wait, is this the, this is the original Sensei Wu figure, I believe, from 2011, 11. Here's Sensei Wu here with his original robe on, this white one here with the Sensei Wu flower sort of design on the back. This is a really cool figure. Up next, we have a JZX figure. This guy was everywhere back in 2012. If you guys know anything about the Serpentine season of Ninjago, it's that the ZX minifigures were really, really easy to get, especially this J one. I just accumulated so many of these. I think I've got like four of them at least, maybe five. It's kind of ridiculous how common this guy ended up being. Still cool to get nonetheless. Here's the original Kai minifigure that we checked out. We kind of saw through the baggie. And like I said, we got 50 of these. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. Probably need to speed up the pace, otherwise this video is going to be super long. We have a Movie Kai minifigure. And, whoa, we got another Kai minifigure here. This is Kendo Kai, but it's basically the original Kai minifigure, but without his head wrap. And instead, we have this sort of Kendo mask and armor on him. Pretty cool. All right, well, I see an interesting minifigure back here. You guys probably do too. This is the rebooted J minifigure. And we even got the Techno Blade. That was nice of him to include. These are some really cool weapons, these sort of transparent pieces that go on top. And uh, I really like these. These look really, really cool. And so now we got actually a rebooted minifigure. I believe this is the first one we've checked out in this video. Maybe there's more. Oh my, we've gotten... We have an Energy Ninja, guys. These are amazing. We have Energy Cole here. These minifigures just look so awesome. I think LEGO needs to do something like this again. These have always been my favorites amongst the DX Ninja as well. These are really, really nice. That is a cool, cool find. And what did I say about ZX Ninja, especially Jay here? Well, we have another one. We also have the original Bonesai. This was basically the skeleton of ice at the time. And if you guys look at the hands here, these are actually from the spinners, since you can notice that the hands are positioned so that they can hold a weapon out so they can be on their spinner, spin around, and try and hit the other player. And of course, if it came from an actual set, it would actually be facing up so it could hold a weapon up and down instead of side to side. Kind of interesting, just a little interesting fact there. We have Training Suit Cole from the Lego Ninjago movie. It appears here that we have one of the warriors for the Stone Army. So far, I'm very happy with the fact we haven't gotten any duplicates, and there is a very nice variety of figures here. Here's Moro from the Air Jitsu Flyer back from Possession. This is a really cool minifigure with those sort of transparent legs down there. That looks very, very nice. Now, another minifigure that I spotted out that actually came in this bundle was the original Golden Ninja. And so I've got a few of these guys now. This guy came in the Temple of Light as well as the Golden Dragon back from 2013. Very, very nice. We also have Nia here from the Lego Ninjago movie. She's a cool figure to have. We have Kai ZX here, so another ZX Ninja. Kai in particular here with the darker shade on his arm there, I think looks pretty nice. 
Now here's another Skullkin. This is Knuckle, the original Knuckle, not the one from Legacy. This guy is quite literally a bonehead as it comes to his personality in the TV show and then, well, the fact that he's a skeleton. Let's see, um, let's see, we got a Nindroid back here from Rebooted. We got another ZX Ninja here, we got Zane. Looks like we have another Bones Eye, and here you guys can see the example of the hands that are up and down. So this one would not be one that came in a spinner set. Okay, here we go, this is a really interesting minifigure. I didn't know this guy was in here. I didn't see this guy from the pictures. This is the uh, evil Lloyd Garmadon, pretty much, from the Serpentine season. Got the short legs there with the cape and the hood that goes over it, painted on ribs to try and go after or copy his father Garmadon. It appears that we have another Dragon Master minifigure here of Jay, as well as another Kendo minifigure. This is Kendo Cole, once again, is just basically the original ninja, but just has, instead of the head wrap, has this sort of Kendo headpiece here. We also have the Puffer making a return from the Lego Ninjago movie. Let's check out another Serpentine villain. This is Bitar from the Constricti tribe with those short legs down here and this pretty wacky looking head mold of a piece up here with all these spikes on the side. Bitar definitely is a unique figure, stands out from the rest, and is a really cool but pretty rare minifigure to be honest at this state. I've spotted that we also have an original J as well as an original Zane minifigures back from 2011. I believe we might even have the full set now of original Ninja. We also have a Chokun, which is a Serpentine villain as well. Pretty cool with that. And with more Serpentine villains, we have Lasha. This guy was kind of like the rebooted Lasha or something, came in the Junior set. This guy is pretty interesting. He's got that sash as well as a brown colored arm here. We also have General Cryptor in coming in this sort of bundle. I really like these ninja wraps with the sort of laser eye piece up here. These always look really, really nice. We have just pretty much a very common and generic training J minifigure. And we also have a very, very common Sons of Garmadon biker minifigure. You guys can even see that the hands are still in the position where he'd be holding onto the handlebars for that polybag. This guy made an appearance on my top 10 least valuable Ninjago minifigures just because that polybag was everywhere. If you guys have not already checked out that video, highly recommend it. It's really cool. We have another Nindroid. We have a Fang Sui that we looked at at the very, very beginning. And we, let's see, we have another sort of techno blade combo with a minifigure here. This is Cole from Rebooted. I love getting the hairpiece for the ninja. Always is a great plus. We only have two minifigures left. And those are an original Garmadon minifigure as well as a Kai minifigure from the Dragon Masters. I really like this Dragon Master Kai minifigure. It's probably one of my favorites out of the Dragon Masters. And as far as Garmadon here, well, this is the original, the OG Garmadon with that bone helmet here before they got that new piece that's sort of skinnier in here, that sort of samurai helmet we have here. That's really cool. And these are all 50 of the LEGO Ninjago minifigures that came in this haul. Be sure to let me know down below with a comment which one of these minifigures is your favorite or if any of them surprised you that I ended up finding in this sort of mystery lot. If you did go on to enjoy this video, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below and a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see a part 2 and I'll definitely keep my eyes open for another large Ninjago lot up for sale. But with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You guys can use the card on screen right now and check out a few more videos that are listed on screen. As always, I'm Spitbricks. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.